Brunswick is heading for a provincial election in September, which leaves PC Premier David Elward with a, a few months to turn around some poll numbers but have his party in second place behind the Liberals. Well, one man who hopes Elward will not turn those numbers around is Chris Austin. He leads the upstart People's Alliance and joins us now from Minto, New Brunswick. Good to have you on the show, and I, I want to start off by asking how your party is doing. It's a relatively new party in terms of, of membership and, and fundraising in order to get yourself in shape to maybe get a, a full slate of candidates for this September election. Well, I can tell you, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity to be on and express uh, some of our message, uh, especially during this time. I mean, New Brunswick now is kind of in the flood state mode here, so my uh, thoughts are, of course, go to my neighbors and friends here in New Brunswick. Uh, but uh, getting to the question, we're, we're working hard and we're actually uh, gaining quite a bit of ground. We uh, currently uh, have uh, seven candidates in place. We have many more that are uh, filling in requirements. Uh, we've been uh, getting our message out to a grassroots uh, uh, campaign, uh, working with different parts of uh, the province, and uh, we are seeing that begin to resonate with uh, the people through the Brunswick. You know, it, it is tough, and I don't want to make make it sound discouraging uh, for you. And but but it, historically speaking, fourth parties have an especially difficult challenge, be it at the provincial or federal level uh, in in Canada. You know, right now you're not registering very highly at all in the in the public opinion polls. So how are you get, how are you trying to get some of that visibility, perhaps that automatically goes to the other parties? Well, again, it is very much a grassroots effort, and uh, we, we don't take a whole lot of uh, credibility in the polls. I mean, when you look at the polls, it's really a phone call of 200 people out of a population of 750 that are actually polled. So we, we try not to look too much to that. We look to what we're hearing at the doors and what we're hearing on the streets. And I can tell you that there's no question in my mind that the atmosphere is right for change. And uh, when you look at the, the track record of both uh, progressive conservative and liberal governments, we're sitting with a $12 billion debt, uh, an annual deficit that just they, they, they refuse to, to bring under control. And it's all because of the uh, mismanagement of finances over the years and the, the patronage and, and the problems that we face, you know, fall squarely on liberal and conservative shoulders. So I think the general public is looking for another option, and we're going to provide it to them. Well, let's talk a little bit about one of those financial issues. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation has called for more transparency in MLA uh, expenses, not just posting sort of the total spent, but getting into some of the detail. Where does the People Alliance, People's Alliance fall on that? Well, I want to state that we've been the first to call for that. Uh, back in 2010, when we formed as a party, uh, one of our, our planks was, was just that, that MLAs, uh, their, their expenditures, are, are at the end of the day, is taxpayers' money. So taxpayers should know where the, those uh, finances are going uh, to look after those expenditures, and they should be posted online, and they should be detailed. Um, you know, I don't think it's too much to ask to say, look, uh, you know, the MLAs are, are, are uh, paid for by the taxpayers. Their, their position is there because of the, the votes that they receive to get them in office. And they should be held accountable for what they spend in, in, in their duties. And uh, again, we've been the very first party to say that. We've been beating that drum, and it sounds like someone's listening. So we're, uh, we're gaining some traction in, in our message and the, in the things that we're promoting. Can I just get your quick comment on one other issue that I think might come up in, in the September election, and that is the, the Morgenthaler Clinic in New Brunswick that's, that's closing. They're calling for provincial funding uh, for abortion. The Liberals seem to be on board do you expect this to come up, and has your party taken a position on it? Well, it's certainly become a hot-button issue here in New Brunswick lately. Uh, myself, personally, I, I am pro-life, and uh, uh, I think the two-doctor rule in New Brunswick is a good thing. Uh, now, with that said, one thing that's, that makes our party stand out and be separate from the others is that uh, we allow for our members to represent their constituents. So as a party, we have not taken a stance, and I will not enforce my opinion on that of the members. I think in true democracy, you have to let your members uh, decide for themselves which way they should go on, on, on those policies. And it's up to the constituents to get the message across to MLAs and uh, to vote accordingly. I mean, politics in New Brunswick, and, and, and even if we look across Canada, it's no longer a representative uh, political uh, democracy that we have. It's more of a partyocracy. And we've got to take the partisanship out of it. We've got to let MLAs vote freely uh, based on what their constituents will vote. All right. Chris Austin, appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it.